Okay, for the topic about flanged bolt coupling. So the keyword here is coupling. So a coupling is something that connects, okay? So this one will be used to connect two shafts. For example, we have one shaft and to be connected with another shaft so how will we connect this so that this one will turn together the two shafts will be turning together so the technique is to install a flange you know, on both ends of these two shafts so one flange there and the other there so that they can be connected using bolts because this one will have holes in it okay so that when they are going to be attached together with bolts so it means that they can already turn so the parts of the flange bolt coupling would be the flange you know with bolt holes in it say there are six bolt holes it depends and this one will have a hub and at the middle will be the uh, hole where a shaft can be inserted and usually there is a key inserted here to prevent rotation of the shaft with respect to the flange and there is also a keyway on the shaft so that the key the key will be can be shaped into uh, something like this no it is a uh, usually rectangular in form and it is inserted at the hollow part there so power is transmitted say from this shaft towards the hub of this uh, flange here then from the hub it goes to the key and from the key it is transmitted to the flange and from the flange to the bolt and from the bolt to the other bolt and the bolt here will transmit the force to the flange and from the flange to the hub from the hub to the key and that's the time that it will turn no? the other shaft will turn so the flow is from the shaft towards the uh, hub for this one then to the key then from the key to the flange and from the flange to the bolt and from the bolt to the other bolt across okay from the bolt to the flange and from the flange to the hub and from the hub to the key and from the key to the shaft and power is now transmitted so if there is torque here so torque will be available at the other shaft already because of this connection so what are the uh, forces involved here so the shearing stress of this bolt is the one responsible for turning the shaft so let us call the the force there coming from the bolt as a p and from the center of the shaft we are going to call r so the torque or moment will now be equal to P times R and we call this one also the torque no? so the total torque to be transmitted is P times R times the number of bolts so the more bolts the more torque that can be transmitted okay so there are cases when uh, the the flange will have two layers of bolts say for example this one will have this number of bolts around and there will also be uh, say bolts in the inner part of this uh, flange okay so in this case the forces are proportional so if we have a force here p and we have also if a, a force from the smaller bolt we can draw a line connecting to the center so that 
if this one is P1, this one will be P sub 2. So the inner bolts will have lesser force. So by ratio, so it will be P1 over this distance is R1, okay? R1 is equal to P2 and this distance will be called R2. So this one will be the ratio if the bolts have uh, the same the same diameter and material. So we are going to use this uh, proportion okay for the force that are involved in the bolt. So in order for us to appreciate how this bolt flanged bolt couplings are being uh, used, we are going to read a problem here from the book on flanged bolt coupling uh, for problem 326. I read this problem. A flange bolt coupling consists of 10 steel uh, 20 mm diameter bolts spaced evenly around a bolt circle 400 millimeters in diameter. Determine the torque capacity of the coupling if the allowable shearing stress in the bolts is 40 mega pascal. Okay, so from this problem, I have written here the uh, conditions, no? That in the bolt, flange bolt coupling, there are 10 steel bolts all around. Then the diameter of each is 20 mm. And the bolt circle diameter, okay, from there up to there, is 400 millimeters. The shearing stress in each bolt is 40 megapascals. Find the torque capacity, uh, transmitting capacity of the coupling. So to solve this, we need to first find out how much force will each bolt uh, able to carry. So using the uh, formula tau is equal to V over A. So tau here is 40 megapascals. V is unknown, the force uh, capacity of one bolt divided by the area. So since this one is a circular area, it is pi d squared over 4. So the diameter is 20 millimeters. So V, after computing this, the value of V is 12,566.37 newtons. So we are going to use uh, the symbol P instead of V and convert this into kilonewtons. Uh, the answer here will be uh, P equal to 12.56637 kilonewtons. The radius here is just half of the diameter, D over 2. So 0.4 is the diameter, 400 is equivalent to 0.4 meters, divided by 2, that is 0.2 meters. And the number of bolts is 10. So T from this formula is equal to PRN. P is 12.566 times R 0.2 times N 10 volts. So the answer for the total torque uh, transmitting capacity is 12, uh, 25.132 kilonewton meter. Okay? So for the next problem, 327, the problem reads that a flanged bolt coupling consists of 10 steel one half inch diameter bolts spaced evenly around a bolt circle 14 inch in diameter. Determine the torque capacity of the coupling if the allowable uh, shearing stress in the bolts is 6,000 PSI. So for problem uh, 327, it is stated that there are 10 steel bolts with a diameter of 1 half inch. Okay, and the bolt circle diameter is 14 inches, meaning R here will be 7 inches, half of 14. And the shearing stress is 6,000 PSI. Okay, so find the torque capacity. So for our solution, we find the uh, strength or uh, force capacity of the outer bolts. I mean, sorry. So this one is 6,000. Uh, divide by uh, times 
equals uh, v divided by pi over 4 times d squared since this one is a circle no so the v is 1178.1 pounds so we are allowing p to be equal to v no so that we can use the symbol p instead of v so the torque capacity is prn so torque is equal to p which is 1178.1 times the uh, radius which is half of this uh, that is 7 uh, I mean the radius is already 7 divided by 12 because converting this into feet times 10 because there are 10 steel bolts so the torque capacity is 6872.2 uh, pound feet of torque okay so that will be the answer for problem 327 for problem 328, a flanged bolt coupling consists of 8 10 mm diameter steel bolts on a bolt circle uh, 400 mm in diameter and 6 10 mm diameter steel bolts on a concentric bolt circle 300 mm in diameter. Uh, what torque can be applied without exceeding a shearing stress of 60 mega pascals in the bolts so we can notice that there are two sets of bolts here okay uh, the one that is in outer and the one which is in the inner for the outer bolts there are eight bolts having a diameter of 10 millimeters and uh, the distance here is that is d equal to 400 mm and the inner bolts have six bolts with 10 millimeter diameter bolts and the distance here is 300 mm okay so 300 mm uh, the shearing stress is limited to uh, 60 megapascals so in order to solve for the total torque capacity of this uh, flange coupling we are going to first find out how much force is available for each bolt especially the outer bolt using this formula tau is equal to v over a it is found out that it is 4712.389 uh, newtons or converting this into kilonewtons that is 4.71 kilonewtons and if we are going to represent it here this one is p1 and in order to find the uh, the force in the inner bolt we can have a proportional line and this one will also be P sub 2 so by ratio P1 over the radius here R1 is equal to P2 divided by the radius here R2 so it is found out that uh, the uh, force in the inner bolt is 3.5343 kilonewtons so in order to find the total torque capacity it will be the torque capacity of the outer bolts plus the torque capacity of the inner bolts so it will be p1 r1 n1 plus p2 r2 n2 so torque total is 4.712 times r which is uh, 0.2 and 8 uh, number of bolts plus P2 is 3.5343 times the radius here will be 300, 0.3 divided by 2 is 0.15 times 6 volts. So the total torque is 10.72 kilonewton meter. So that will be the answer for problem 328.